objects, please also visit objectslabs.com. Over a year ago, I started working on a series of smart devices based on ESP32 with the goal of minimizing the power consumption as much as possible and also optimizing the design of these devices. Hi everyone, I'm Salvatore from Objects Labs and today I'm going to show you some cutting edge technology in action. We will explore how these optimized smart door sensor and objects link demos interact with ESP32 before DevKit. We have pushed this sensor to the max, even removing the battery in one version to extend its lifespan to over 10 years. And if you are excited about these products, check out our crowd supply campaign and considering supporting us by leaving your email to stay updated. But before we start with the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Every day at Objects we help our customers develop IoT devices, which is why we decided to develop this demo, to show the potential of ELPMs and all the low power solutions. So, if you want help developing a project, write to us, info at objectslabs.com. These two smart door sensors share the same components, the only difference is their power and charging system. On the left, the version powered with AA batteries has no charging circuit. The batteries simply provide the supply voltage to the device. On the right, however, a solar panel combined with an energy harvester charge an innovative Nichicon lithium battery. This version is designed to last over 10 years, offering a more sustainable solution compared to the first one. So let's take a closer look at this SLB. First of all, it's not a classic lithium battery. The LSBs offer high energy density, reliable performance in extreme temperature and can be charging using energy harvesting. And also are designed for safety and durability with a minimal risk of explosion. Now back to the smart devices. This smart door sensor not only detect the opening and closing of the doors or windows, but also feature a advanced renaissance sensor that monitor temperature, air quality, humidity, and even estimate CO2 levels and providing a comprehensive set of environmental data. With the ESP32 before DevKit, you can interact with the smart device in real time. For example, right now I'm opening and closing the contact of this read switch. The ESP32 before is recently register the change and display it on the screen. As you can see, I'm also displaying the environmental data from each individual sensor. I have implemented a small burglar alarm system that can be activated with this switch. When the smart door sensor detects an open contact, the system goes into alarm mode. This starts a color animation with this LED strip controlled by an object's link as FreeLW, which received the command from the ESP32P4 dev kit. Smart devices talk to the ESP32P4 via ESPNOW protocol, but you can also establish the connection via LoRa, Wi-Fi, BLE, Thread, ZigBee and so on. As you can guess, with the ELPMs you can develop multi-protocol solutions. This device is incredibly efficient, with extreme low power consumption making it ideal for long term use. Now I will explain how to develop your own smart devices using ELPMs. First I designed a project on KiCad, you can find all the project files in the description on the GitHub repo. You can start from this design and make any changes you want. If you have never developed a design in KiCad, I recommend you to follow some tutorials that you can find on YouTube. Next, I sent the production files to my trusted PCB manufacturer, PCBWay. And yes, this project was sponsored by PCBWay, which manufactured and delivered these awesome PCBs in just one week. Find the link below in the description to place your first order for only $5. As soon as the PCBs arrived along with all necessary components, I assembled the first prototype and I test it. It's possible to program both of smart devices via USB-C or via serial by using these pads and connecting a serial bridge. So after developing the firmware for the smart door sensor, I also developed the firmware for the ESP32P4 and for ESP32C6 that allow me to talk via ESPNOW with all smart devices. Now, let's take a closer look at another demo I made. As you can see, I'm now controlling this RGB LED strip with just a touch. You can see how easily I can switch colors and adjust the brightness of the LED strip. What makes this setup really special is the Objects Link S3LW dev kit that's powering also the LED strip. 
Without it, we should need an external power supply to handle the power consumption of the LED strip. So, Objects Link S3LW is compatible with the power delivery PPS 3.0 up 100 watts. This not just simplifies the setup but also makes the entire system more efficient and compact, removing the need for an external power supply for the LED strip. And you, what do you think about these smart devices? So feel free to drop a comment below. And if you want to stay updated on our latest project, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And that's it guys, thank you for watching the video until the end, and see you next time!